folks, we are here at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland. Um, looking forward to it. Never been here. We'll, we'll see you in tiny. Well, folks, we're uh, in the museum and they won't let us take any pictures. So we'll try and sneak a couple, maybe a little video somewhere. We'll see what happens. Jovi's motorcycle and the famous ZZ Top uh, mobile. But that's pretty cool. That's my era right there. That's cool. This is Roy Orbison's Corvette. And, uh, I didn't know Billy Joel rode a motorcycle, but I like Bon Jovi's better. I don't get it. There's nowhere. Nothing I've ever seen drive in this museum. I don't get it. Now we're gonna go outside. Uh, we're gonna go see. Johnny Cash's tour bus. So uh, we're gonna go outside and we're gonna go check that out right now. We had to come see him. We had to you can see right down the door, Hendersonville, Tennessee. The bus of Johnny Cash. Uh, pretty cool. It looks like he was uh, just on here for day travel. There's no bugs anywhere. It's quite a quite a setup. Look, this says it was his private lounge area. And I can just picture Johnny laying on his back with a big pillow back here watching this TV in 1980. Pretty cool. There we go. Johnny Cash's bus. Peace out. They didn't have any books on uh, the Grammys or an updated book on Billboard, so I couldn't find Emerson Drive anywhere in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. No. I bought Tommy Lee's biography. A lot of crazy stuff in there. I bought a fridge magnet for my fridge at home, and Chad asked me what this was. It's a 45 uh, insert for 45 records, and um, that's what that is anyway. I don't know what they call it. And I got a pin somewhere for my dad. He collects pins. I got a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame pin. There you go. That was our day at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame.